All right, you two, today we're going to be installing these pistons. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Let's go over the tools we'll be using in today's video. I'm going to start with our good old plastic hammer. You may have a rubber one, whichever one, it don't matter. We'll be using our torque wrench, our ring compressor. Of course, we got to have our bearings, our rod bearings, not crank bearings. These are rod bearings. We're going to need our rods and our pistons. All right? And of course, we're going to need the block. Let's get to it. All right, family. I want to show y'all how we got these loose. We use our impact to break these loose. They ARP 2000 bolts, they can take it. And then in order to get, cause these are very tight. They come from the factory machine as one piece and then they snap and they put them on very tight. So in order to get this broken loose, as you see, you can barely see, in order to get this broken loose, you back the nut out some, but leave it threaded. And you just grab it. Make sure you take a, a rubber hammer or a plastic hammer. Something that won't hurt, you know, you're not gonna hurt this or your this, right? Then you just get some good wax on it and boom. Y'all see it? Came loose. And that's how we did that. I already had done the first seven. I say that one just for y'all. We back. We already wiped down our cylinders with the acetone, lint free uh shop towels. Got our cylinder nice and white now. Now what we gonna do. This will be our first, this is our number one piston right here. When you when you install these pistons, you want to make sure that the, the side with the big chamfer on it, it goes towards the cheek of the journal, which is the crank side. And then it's a smooth side. You see that? So how this smooth is smaller than this one. The rods gonna go together right here. So for each side. This one will be on this side, will be on the other side. These sides are gonna face each other, and then the big chamfer side is gonna face outward away from each other. All right, remember that? And then you should, you know, depending on what pistons you got, is depending on, you know, how they face in your engine. Of course, mine's got the valve relief that's gonna face up like this, right? But we ain't ready yet, because we gotta put bearings in these. Uh, all right, we got our bearings here, our rod bearings. We're gonna take them out the box, obviously. Take them out the box and they are numbered. You see they got a number one through eight, top and bottom. They do got tangs on them also. So I guess, yeah, these got tangs on them also. They're on both sides, nope, just one side. So they only gonna fit into these one way. All right. And these are dry fit also. So I'm gonna take my first rod. And also one more thing about these rods, you two. They are numbered individually. So they only gonna go on here one way. The numbers gonna line up with each other. And that's for my particular uh, rod and piston setup. These are Summit Pro LS rods and pistons, so yours may vary. But for mine, it's numbered here. So I can't mix these up. I'm still gonna go one at a time anyway. All right, we're gonna take this. Get number one out. This one and this one. This one, one. This one, one. All right, gonna get those out. We're gonna put one in the cap. Now these are dry fit. Just make sure. Where am I at with my uh? Let me get a little more acetone. I do want to get it. Take like a little acetone. Don't want to wipe it down in the journal because we get a little dusty down in the basement sometimes. So, so a little bit of that there, huh? Yes, sir. I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to wipe the inside of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wipe that side up, make sure it's clean, clean. I don't want nothing in there. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Then I'm gonna take this. This should be a dry fit to go in here. These are already clean, they're brand new, ain't nothing on them. 
And I'm just going to line the tang up. You see this tang? It's a tang right here. I'm just going to line them up. Then just push it down in there like that. Making sure that it's as even as I can get it across here. Making sure it's flat. It's flat. I like that. That's good. Now. I wonder if there's a certain way these go in here or not. It don't say in the instructions. It ain't come with no instructions. So I'm assuming it don't matter. It may be. I don't know. Does it matter, like, which one go where? Like, as far as which one go in the top, which one go in the bottom? I don't know. It didn't say so. Get that tank one go. And boom. And boom. There you go. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's clean. Alright, then what I'm gonna do is I already know it's gonna go down. Ultra slick, yeah boy. Gotta put some off slick in. I see it. Super sticky. All right. I'm gonna show my finger clean. I'm gonna rub it in there. Try not to get it on the top of it. Just, I don't want it on the top. Just close to it. But I do like how it's coated. Y'all yeah, see that? It didn't coat it. I'm gonna put a side down on this one. Oil, or whatever type of oil you're gonna use in your engine. I've seen people use ATF, I've even seen people use the uh lube. This is the oil I plan on running in this engine for the first time, so this one I'm gonna use to boil these cylinders. Man. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. Both hands so you can turn your crank. So you're gonna need to be able to turn the crank, right? So put the crank back in. I know what we gotta make sure of is our orientation on our rings is correct. Right? So if this is the front of our engine, which it is, the top ring should be facing straight that way, the back, the second ring should be coming straight back towards us. And our oil ring should, again, it should be right here on the side, like at an angle like that. Then our, our top or oil ring should be facing this way. And our bottom oil ring should be facing this way. So that's correct. And our back ring is facing us. See, top facing that way, second facing that way. Your top oil ring this way, your bottom oil ring this way, and your the uh, oil control ring should be facing that way. So this is right. So I don't want these to move at all. They're exactly where I want them to be. All right. 
Just to help the rain slide. They make better ones than this, but you know, some people even do it by hand. And if y'all get one like this, be careful, cause these edges is kind of sharp. You, I can see you easily cutting yourself on them. Ah, that was it. I just did it. Push it all in the head now. I want to flip it over. And then put this uh, air in it. I'm going to flip it to the side like that. So I can come in. numbers up, the numbers on this side, remember the numbers only on one side, make sure our front joint look good, it's good, you just got goo on it, the boats down. The instruction says to take it to two steps to get to 30 foot pounds and then 50 degrees. And if you don't have a degree angle, then you should go to like 82 foot, between 82 and 87 foot pounds. So let's say 82, so let's take it up to 80, I like this 80 right here. So this would be 80, I'm gonna go 83. Slide, man. You know what I'm saying? Slide, man. You know what I'm saying? Slide, man. Oh, I'm finding this out of the boy. Not when I did it, man. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is just 
turn this a little bit. Just gonna turn a little bit. I got time to work. Getting pulled tight. Pull tight. Boom. Alright. We're going to take our torque wrench. We're going to get this down to 30. It's already set to 30 foot pounds. That's what we're starting with. Alright, there go 30 foot pounds right there. There go 30 foot pounds right there. Alright, let's go to 50. Let's go to 50, 50. You know your girls do what on the bill? Feedy, feedy. Nah, not really. I know right now. <laughs> Some people do though. We know. Some people do. All right, y'all. We finna hit that B eighty three. Hit that B eighty three right quick. Then, hey, it's a readout for me. All right, they go, hey, hey, two, 
83. Right there, boom. That's 83 right there, man. Now I'm gonna go back and check them all. Alright, let's see how this thing is All right. Let's see what we look like. This thing look good to me. Yes, sir. All right. All right, YouTube. As y'all can see, we got these crystals installed. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.